This month on The Bite, we take you to North Dakota, the infamous Devil's Lake. A day of ice fishing with the one and only, needs no introduction, Jason Mitchell. And joining him is Scott Merwin. Scott's taking a break from Osakis, driving up to Devil's Lake to chase some perch and walleye. These two guys put the hammer down. And when the day's done, they go back for a great fish fry, and you get to check out the inner workings of the JMO headquarters. Don't miss this month. Hey, Jason Mitchell here with the bite, and you know we're just gonna go look for the next bite here on Devil's Lake and the surrounding area. Neat about this part of the world, you can chase walleyes, you can chase perch, big pike, and we're just gonna go out fishing. So there's been some really good perch bites this winter. We're gonna go check out that. Probably by the end of the day, we're gonna probably have to stop on a walleye spot or two and uh, just come along for the ride. Where, we, where we'll end up, I have no idea. You know, I had my friend Scott Merwin come up for a few days here. We're just gonna go out fishing and have a good time. I'm excited today because we're gonna go chase fish and find them and, and show, kind of show how we um, how we get on them, and that's gonna be kind of cool. You know, learning a bite is is a pretty cool thing when you earn it. Gotta go find them. At least get in the zone where you mark the fish. Gotta figure out what, what it's gonna take to catch them. There he is. Scott! That's a good one. Oh, there's a jumbo. Look at that. That's just a fatty. Hey, Scott, they're here. Well, we just caught that first one here. I'm just gonna sit here a little while and just see how many more I can mark. A lot of times with perch fishing out here, you know, these big basins and flats, and these big bowls. I mean, it's all about just getting in the flow of fish. A lot of times I like to kind of make big moves and spread them apart, but then sit a little bit longer in the hole because these fish are moving so much. So, you know, if you can sit in a spot for half an hour, 45 minutes, maybe even an hour, and you get them coming underneath you, you know, even two, three times an hour, and they bite, you'll add up, you'll have a good day. You know, so a lot of times it's ideal if you can just sit and run traffic. Just stay in that flow of fish, but if we sit here for another 10, 15 minutes and don't mark anymore, I just might make a little move here and see if I can get on them a little better. Come on. Yeah, he just barely tapped it. It's not big, that's for sure. You gotta find some bigger than this, but it's a start. So we got out here on Devil's Lake today, and you, you know, Devil's Lake is kind of always like this. You gotta get out and work for it. So we. You know, we, we pulled into this area and we started popping holes and, and moving around now, marking a few fish here and there. But if, you, if we keep on moving around here, we're going to find more pods of these fish and, and eventually get on them. You know, it's the more you put in, the more fish you get out of it. Best eating there is right there.
But they're typically more with one of them. It's nice when you see that. We've had it where, you know, in deep water, you know, you're in 40 feet, 45, 50 feet of water, and you'll have 10 feet of them below you, you know, but sometimes they come through one at a time. Go to different areas of the lake, you know, they'll have different tendencies too as far as how they school. Sure are tasty. <laughs> so I was kind of jumping around out here trying to find some fish, and Mitchell was doing better sitting still. So I decided to come over here and join these guys and and, and catching some. And um, I'm glad we did. Be a nice one. Oh yeah, there's a nice fish. see that just footballs I'll show you what I'm using here it's kind of a finesse subtle bite this is a drop kick jig which I like this because it's tungsten drops down in that deep water I got a little plastic little Mackie plastic on there which is a crushed up perch eye you see here I'm using eight pound braid pretty thin diameter but I've got like a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader make it a little bit pike and walleye proof and on that heavier fluorocarbon, I just tie a loop knot. That way that can just dangle and swing. It's for fishing outside, fishing over deep water. Where there's some toothy critters around, that's just a great setup. That sun's peeking up. That might get these fish fired up here a little bit. They're starting to roll through here a little bit. I caught that one. I was marking another one. The only thing better than catching a bunch of perch is eating a bunch. So that's what we're going to do when we get back to the shop, guys, tonight. We're going to have a big fish fry. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Cameraman likes snacks. Here's the real question, Merwin. Who's better at cooking fish, you or Mitchell? Oh, oh man, I'm better at eating. <laughs> I'm like a well, seagull. I, I have no culinary abilities. Well, but I, I don't can remember him cooking any either. <laughs> you know, I can deep fry stuff and I can burn stuff. <laughs> no, actually, people say I make good fish, but I don't know. Yeah, How would you screw that up? Overcooking it, I think. I hate overcooked fish. He he battered them last time, and I cooked them. That's what I remember. Every one of them is interested to come up and look at it, but boom. Oh. That means time to change. Did they just stop eating the pinhead, or why'd you switch away from the pinhead? Well, you know, he Jason's over there fishing smaller, and he's catching two to three to my one over there. So, of course, I'm gonna <laughs> switch over and. Determined earlier this morning. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna fish heavy just so because so, it's easier. But um, you know, and we're outside today, but the wind kind of calmed down a little bit, and now I'm going to something smaller. So I can catch up to Jason over there. There we go. So I, I was at fishing a little bit bigger earlier and I wasn't getting as many bites as Jason there and I found out he was using a little bit smaller so I switched over too to the duck bill with just a couple of the wax worms on it and that's what's getting these fish. This one we're gonna let go and see if we can get some bigger ones. But at least we're getting some action now. Sometimes it's kind of like a pain in the butt to fish small but necessary. quite the right species? That broke my heart. That was not supposed to happen that way. That was supposed to be, oh yeah, and Devil's Lake's got some great walleyes, and here's one right here. Suppose he had. Just 
to imagine the bite and set the hook. You know, we're just picking away at them. It's not fast and furious, but you know, as long as you have that flow of fish below you, where every 10 minutes or so you got a new fish swimming underneath you. Some of them won't bite, but some of them do. You know, at the end of the day, they add up. You know, we're targeting a lot of flats. You know, that's the thing with these perch is that if you can find them on Devil's Lake in shallow water, usually they're pretty aggressive. But I think day in and day out, you're going to find more fish deeper, you know, over that basin. A lot of times it's kind of the transition of the basin is the sweet spot. You look at an aerial map of Devil's Lake, you know, that map, is, or that, you look at that map and it's going to be just a, just a big flat soft bottom basin. A lot of times we focus on the edges of that basin. Any type of a depression, any type of a bowl, or if you can imagine when Devil's Lake was low, there were sloughs, or just shallow potholes, and the lake got so high that it overtook them. And so a lot of times, you know, these secondary basins. Look at that. That's interesting. Got here. Let me get the transducer up for this one. Oh. Mm. Is, but it's either a nice walleye or a pike. What do we have here? Oh yeah, nice walleye. Just like that. Get a hold over here. There we go. That's cool. Got a lot of nice walleyes over the years. Tiny little jigs fishing for perch. Look at that. Look at the build on that fish. All these fish do is eat. Alright, I'm gonna let that fish go. There's plenty of fish in this lake. Oh, wave this goodbye. Plenty of fish in this lake to eat. And we'll do that a little bit later. I'm thinking we'll fish for perch a little while and then uh, we'll get set up on a walleye bite here tonight. So you now you're focusing on these basins, transitions. A lot of times that's where you find the numbers of perch, but then you go up on the structure shallower, and that's where we'll find the walleye, especially low light, you know, mornings and evenings, at least on the main lake here is usually the best. But uh, yeah, lots of stuff to do, lots of places to fish on this body of water. I think all together you've probably got about 200,000 acres of water when you look at Stump Lake and Irving and Alice and all the stuff that's connected. Kind of got it dialed in as far as our location and so set the house up and we're gonna get comfortable we're gonna catch us some jumbos that's a beautiful fish right there there you go finally just let it sit there they don't like it moving i guess yeah that's the devil's leg dead sticking jig it until they come in then dead stick it Eater. I switched back to the pinhead and just put a bunch of bunch of meat on there, and he ate it all, as you can see. So we kind of scouted around this one area today, looking around, and um, we were moving around a lot at first. And um, Jason was kind of, you know, sticking in one spot, getting bites. So I tried to find better fish or more fish. And what we found out that sitting today was the best, you know, just letting them come through to us. 
So after we figured that out, we decided to set up the X200, and boy, it's nice and toasty in here. Oh, I'm starting to kick in here. We're starting to get a few fish. We got some laying on the ice right there. Another smaller one, but big enough to eat. Our plan is to go get a few more perks, and then we're going to head out and catch some walleyes in the evening bite. So we're out here on Devils, we got our perch, now we're going to head out and go do some walleye fishing. And one thing that's great about, you know, out here in Devils Lake is that you got that variety. You can go fish perch, you can go fish white bass, you can go fish walleye. You know, and that's just kind of fun. There's just, it's just a fishing paradise out here in Devil's Lake. Well, the sun's getting low, so we're gonna bounce around here and see if we can find some walleyes. And basically, we're just targeting these big long points. We're out of the main lake here. And uh, there's some long points that come out that just sand points that have some scattered timber, a little bit of rock on top. A lot of times that sun gets low and these fish move up on top of it here towards dark. So we're right on the kind of the tip of it right now here in about 13 feet here. We're just going to bounce around. We're fishing outside again here. And find that it's a lot easier to find fish if you just stay nimble and willing to fish outside until you find them. Then you can set out. A, once you find fish, you can set up a house. But every day the whole key is finding them. Got one. Well, I'm starting to mark a few fish. Had that one come in. It's gonna be walleye 30. Yeah, fish with a frying pan. I'm just using this pinhead minnow and see how chewed up it is. It <laughs> missing a lot of paint. Hooks are all bent up, but it's still kicking. And run and gun fish, and you know, just put some minnows in a Bait container, no water, and just go. I like to move fast this time of day. You know, it's an intense bite that maybe lasts an hour. Not to say you can't catch them earlier because you can, but during that prime time, man, I like to go. I'm not marking fish. I like to. Move and groove. Oh, another frying pan size fish. We'll keep poking around here and see if there's any bigger fish mixed in here. That size of fish right now is so common on Devil's Lake. I mean, any basic primary piece of structure seems like there's so many fish that are in that, I don't know, 12 to 17 inch range. And obviously there's bigger fish around too, but the goal is to catch a meal of wall and it don't take much out here. So today we went out there and we caught lots of perch and lots of walleyes. Um, you know, it was kind of off and on all day. We got some here and there, you know, um, and we ended up with enough to, to, and we worked really hard at it, but we ended up with enough to cook some a meal out, out at um, Jason Mitchell Outdoors headquarters where he's got a nice place to stay with, with great amenities where you can um, back your truck in and, and defrost everything downstairs and then go upstairs and and lay in bed or watch TV. It's all nice and neat and set up for you so you can have a good fish fry and um, enjoy the fishing on Devil's Lake. Follow us back to the headquarters. You can see where you can stay. Well, we're back at the shop here. We're just at our corporate headquarters back west of Devil's Lake is where we're located. So I'll kind of show you kind of where we're, where we're headquartered where we keep all of our gear and so you know we ice fish we travel all over the country and so you see you know we've got stuff lined up and I'll just give you a quick tour if you watch our TV show this is kind of where it's built and so show you here here's our offices here and so I guess this is my mess I got the messiest office kind of give you a little tour here 
So uh, I spend the least amount of time in here as possible. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's more offices here where other employees work. And here's a conference room here where uh, we have meetings. Sometimes we record podcasts, record interviews, that kind of thing. It is kind of neat, like you know, a bunch of neat fish replicas on the wall just from uh, just some noteworthy fish that we kind of remembered from filming over the years, you know, fish that aired on television. And then come through here and uh, we got a couple of extra bedrooms just for when employees or sponsors come and this is just green screen. We keep a lot, we keep a lot of our camera gear and stuff in here, kind of a studio area where our guys work and then come out here to get done fishing at the end of the day. Obviously you got to have a fish fry and so that's what we're doing here. And yeah, I'll just kind of give you the rundown. Here's our uh, <laughs> creek chub tank. If you do a lot of walleye fishing, you got to have a stash of uh, creek chubs handy on standby. So we got that. And this is where I spend a lot of time if I'm not fishing is uh, kind of just uh, spooling up rods and playing with tackle. And this is kind of my tinkering bench here where you know, got a new idea for a lake trout lure or, or new spoon for walleyes, whatever it is, do a lot of playing here or fixing broken stuff. And obviously it's nice to always have the boat inside ready to go and got decoys and hunting gear and rack, paddle racks with ice fishing shelters and rods. And so there's always a mess. There's always something to clean up. There's always something broken in here. And uh, usually we're, whenever we're here, we're scheming for the next adventure. So. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I'll show you what we've got next door here. So besides our area here that we use, we also have a couple of stalls next door that we rent out. And so we get a lot of friends that come up. We get, you know, even fans of the show come up here and stay. You know, hopefully we have some good information for you for the fishing, but uh, show you next door here what we have to rent. Right. Kind of show you what we've got. There we go. And so we, we keep pretty busy renting these out. And, and uh, basically, you know, we built this, you know, we thought, what's missing in Devil's Lake? And I feel what's missing is just a place where you can back your, back your gear in, you know, whether it's bringing your augers in, bringing your fish houses in, your side-by-sides, your tracks, you know, stone bear, whatever it is. There's a stall here where you can just back your stuff in. Even in the summertime, you know, people will back their boats in for about somebody stealing your GPS or messing with your stuff. And, uh, so you got a fridge, and you have a grill, propane fish fryer, stainless steel sink, so that way you don't clean birds or fish. Got a bathroom with a shower down here. And so, and we've got some uh, people that keep this really clean. They do a really nice job. And then, you know, microwave, coffee maker. You go upstairs here, there's a loft. So there's just kind of a living area here with big screen TV, you know, couches and stuff. You know, then obviously, uh, you know, we've got bedrooms in here. And so we've got two units, each unit's got five beds, but uh, yeah, I mean, people come up and they rent them for the week. If you're fishing or hunting on Devil's Lake and uh, people really enjoyed it. And so that's what we have to offer here in Devil's Lake. And so it's a pretty neat area. Love it here. I came here when I was about 20 years old. I never. I've been here ever since, <laughs> so good place to be. Check this out. We're going to do a little mix. We got the crunchy catch and cook, and then we got also got the flame to flame. Let's see what happens. So have you ever had this, Merwin? No, I have not. So I'm kind of scared of the flame to flame, though. What do you think? I'm excited. I have actually had this batter before. So did you, did you try the hot stuff? I did not. No. I had the regular. All right, well, we're going to mix it half and half because I'm kind of a sissy when it comes to hot stuff. Got a little perch and walleye mixed up here. I'm only throwing a few in at a time because I want them to get really good and, and coated. You know, I, I did dry those off. Um, some people don't. I like to dry them off just so I like that light, light batter. Not unless I'm doing a beer batter, then I like it thicker. You know, of course, when you live in Devil's Lake, you eat a lot of fish, and that's what we're doing tonight. It's probably one of the best parts of the whole day. Unwinding, warming up, drying out gear. Yeah, that's the best part of 
being cold out there all day is being able to enjoy a warm belly of fish. Yeah, you know, so obviously Devil's Lake's a tremendous opportunity and, you know, we just love to fish, you know, and, and I think uh, one of the things that's always important to me is never lose that passion for fishing. Obviously, we film a lot of TV shows, but we're not filming TV shows. We just try to get out fishing. We try a lot of stuff that doesn't work. We test lures, break stuff, eat fish, and the next day we get up and do it again. Thank you.